<coughs> okay. Hello everyone. This is DJ Shinito Ching. You're now listening to WDE DC 90.1 FM University of Richmond Radio. Uh, I'm here tonight with Kenny Shim, a good friend of mine from California, uh, Los Angeles, California. And uh, we're going to share with you a couple songs that we believe have been most influential in our lives. And uh, when, when I play the Korean song, and I'll ask him to talk about it along with my comments. comments. So starting off the night, I, the first song I've prepared is a Chinese song. It's actually a Chinese rap song uh, called Gui, means return, um, by a Chinese underground uh, rap group. Um, rap or hip-hop in general in China has has a long tradition of being in the underground level for many years because of the cultural um, uh, restrictions. Um, so hip hop has never really come out of the ground yet, um, but they are kind of like the pioneer uh, in the sense that they have made hip hop very recognized in China uh, among the youngsters. And uh, this song is a very emotionally touching song, as it um, talks about how much it is about um, uh, missing your friend who is studying abroad. So um, it talks about how much they, they miss, miss each other and how much they wouldn't want each other to to be separate. I know it sounds kind of <laughs> gay, but <laughs> um, that's okay. Yeah. Um, uh, but um, it, it really conveys the message that um, they're, they're the best friends and the uh, and They'll do each other everything, and uh, basically, like they they just put every other feelings into the lyrics, and uh, have the lyrics uh, and the tune convey all the feelings. So here it is.
Okay, moving on to the next song. Um, next song, we've, we've got uh, a Korean song. Um, it's also a rap song by a group called the Drunken Tiger. It's a Korean American hip hop group which first debuted in uh, 1999 and has since released eight albums. Um, uh, Kanye uh, knows more about Drunken Tiger and uh, the reason I, I know the song we're gonna play is called uh, 815 Heaven. 45. 845 45. Heaven. Um, is, um, well, it was at a um, house party that Kanye showed it to me and I just fell in love with the song the first minute I heard it. So um, it's about, and it's about, um, it's a tribute to um, the the singer's uh, grandmother who had passed away, and who had been uh, really close to he to him for many years, and uh, the song has very provoking, powerful lyrics, uh, and the song was praised by many people who had experienced the death of close families. So. And it was the first time um, that a Drunken Tiger song resulted in an official Best Song Lyrics Award. So it's very impressive. Um, can you do you want to add anything more to it? Uh, yeah, I just uh, grew up listening to Drunken Tiger and um, just the lyrics in the song really um, talk about how much you should appreciate um, your loved ones while they're alive. And before it's too late, before they go to heaven, the song 845 is when his grandmother passed away, so um, the lyrics just really um, speak to you that like you should really do the best you can for the people you care about mm -hmm. while they're here, and um, and I think um, it's something that everyone should do, just appreciate your loved ones and yeah. um, appreciate them while they're here next to you, so play the song? Yeah, let's get started. Oh, my love. 
You guys like the eight forty five heaven. Um, next song is African Queen. Um, being that I lived in Africa for so many years, I do have a good selection of African songs that I will play for you. But for the time being, I will just play for um, this song. It's definitely one of my favorite African songs. Um, it's called African Queen, and um. I was played um, uh, in my high school's proms every year because we had to uh, select a queen and a king. So whenever the selection was made, um, the DJ would play this song. So kind kind of reminds me of that my African days. Um, the song is uh, is by um, Two Face Adibia who is a Nigerian songwriter and the actor and the record producer, record producer. Um, he was a member of the defunct R&B and hip hop group Plantain Strong Boys. And Two Face is also currently one of the most popular artists uh, on the African music scene. Um, this song, African Queen, was used as the soundtrack of the 2006 comedy film Fat Girls. <laughs> um, this made him even more uh, internationally um, recognized. And the song um, is very reflective of the African people's uh, attitude for life. They would, um, they would appraise beautiful girls directly without any hidden feelings, as evidenced by the lyrics. For example, in the first line, he says, Just like the sun, light up the earth, you light up my life. You know, it sounds really sweet. And um, it just, the whole tempo, along with the, um, the melody, just so, it's just so African in the sense that it just makes you happy when you listen to it. And... Um, and make you realize life is all about enjoying every little piece of um, thing that happen around you. So, um, so that's another reason why um, this song has made an uh, influence on my life. So without further ado, let's listen to it. African Queen by Two Face. Why's the bottom so low? Now every day I 
dark at night is feeling I'm failing inside. Hey, don't wanna gonna take your place. You gotta take your space. It's a fact I cannot erase. And no, you are the one that makes me smile. Make me float like a boat upon the night. Girl, you are my African queen. The girl of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. you a question. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking the microphone. Um, so when when did you first learn about the idea of love through songs? Um, <coughs> through music. I mean, through like pop music, like you always hear love, 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 and stuff. But once I kind of strayed away from that into um, songs that kind of, um, I guess for me, like feels like it has more meaning. Like I guess around, around high school, around high school when um, I actually had my first relationship, oh. and around there I guess um, you could say I got more ideas about love through through songs and, um, yeah. but yeah. Because the reason I ask is, is because I, I I first learned about love um, by listening to the songs of this guy called Zhang Zhengyue. Um, I I would say like all of his songs are about love, one way or the other. Like it just revolves around this overall idea, um, and also mm-hmm. his songs are sort of, sort of like a reflection of how we went through as a teenager to who we are today, where we are now. You know, at this point of um, in life. Sounds like he taught you a lot. Yeah, a lot, really a lot. And the, the song I would like to share you today, tonight, is uh, is called I Will Be Zo, which means if you love me, please don't go. Um, yeah, he his style is very unique. He's a Taiwanese rock musician. Um, and uh, he just, he seems antisocial. Like, he would do, I mean, he, you know, just like a typical rock and roll musician. They tend to do the they tend to do things um not the traditional way. Mm-hmm. So and uh, in his recent albums he's been trying to um incorporate um the elements of hip hop into his rock songs. I mean I wouldn't call them rock songs. They're kind of like um alternative, like a combination of everything. But the end result is that it sounds really nice. So let's listen to this I Will Be Zo. I'm sure every person in China who is about my age has heard this sound and would agree with me that this sound has made an impact mm-hmm. on, on their individual life. So I hope you like it. And, uh, I hope my audience will like it too. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. Yeah. 
to comment on this song is that uh, in China our societal value is that um, as, as a teenager or student uh, while we're still in school we're expected to be fully dedicated to studies only um, so we're, we weren't expected to fall in love but most people got inspired and uh, got the courage to fall in love after they heard this song so, you know, in a sense, it's also, uh, it's kind of re revolutionized the younger people's mindset, um, uh, giving them a lot of power that um, they wouldn't otherwise retain through other means. So, really, it's, this is a very critical song in my life. and. Uh, probably in most Chinese young young people's my lives. Um, so that's the last song we're playing tonight. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And thank you, Kenny, once again for being here with me. You're very welcome, Jim. Anytime. All right. So good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>